So, we finally reached season number one sim by these Atlanta Braves. I mean, a lot of tough shoes to fill after what we did with the Browns in Madden. Early predictions, guys? Comment below. Team to follow. Hey, what's up, MMC fam? It is your boys. Welcome back. In this place, the Millennial Man Cave, and typically the two showrunners, the two GM minds, the two, what would you call it? Perfectionists Sex. of this craft, the architects, the chef, the Jeff. That's the chef, I'm the Jeff, just, just in case you're new here. Back at it for baseball, first time. Yes, we are, sir. With the Atlanta Braves. A fantasy draft. No stipulations this time, guys. So if you're new to our GM sim builds, how we do it? We fantasy draft. We have five seasons to turn into a champion. So, number one, we have a team. Let's see what we got. We're going to show you guys how the fantasy draft ended and then get the sim started. So our starting pitchers, we got Matty Bumgarner, Kyle Hendricks, Rick Porcello, Julius Chassin, Jimmy Nelson, and then a little depth, we got Samarja, Chase Anderson, Wei Yin Chin. I mean, we didn't draft pretty much after the first 30 picks. So after that point, we let things be as they will. We have five seasons, so really, to start drafting these prospects who are not going to pan out for five years, not worth it to us. Yeah, it was very, uh, as we scroll through the team here, yep. uh, you'll see there's not really much in terms of uh, high potential players. And it was just based on the fact that it's a five-year turnaround. We want players now. Bingo. So with that being said, our relievers, we got Britton, we got Colomb, Gregerson, Fireballer Joe Kelly, Tom's boy, Steve Conrad, Tim Hill, Fernando Salas is going to be up with us. I, I, I don't really know what to expect this team, to be honest. But I mean, Danny Barnes, or Blue Jay. Uh, not too much else to see here on this side. Closing pitchers, we got Matt Barnes and Kelvin Herrera. So pretty strong bullpen. We were, we were pretty okay with it. All uh, things considered. Yeah, I mean, we didn't draft it. Going from there, apparently we're keeping a 57 overall player. Why not? Up for whatever reason. Hey, they clearly have an idea that I'm playing. Can I have an idea? Can I call up Pinedo? Okay. Well, I'm going to do this now because I don't like what I'm seeing here. So, you probably should come to the majors. That makes a ton of sense. There you go. It's 61 already. Works for me. Uh, so, there you go. So, Nino Pineda, our 1 2. Uh, going to our first base, Jesus Aguiar, a guy that Chef Tom and I both like. Mitch Moreland. Little extra, little extra umph. Great depth in the strippers. Just in case. And Derek Dietrich, who's been playing some phenomenal, phenomenal baseball right now. The guy that they drafted for us. Maybe it works out. I guess we'll see. Second base, Ronald Torriez. Pure defensive guy. I'm pretty sure he's a depth guy for us in this situation. Uh, they drafted us Ryan Schimpf. Got some surprise power. Never know. Uh, here you go. Third base, we got Mikey Moustakis. And we got Todd Frazier. Uh, here's yeah, what the split is. So we got Javi Baez and Brandon Crawford. Two phenomenal upside defenders. And nice. Baez, obviously, a superstar. Plain and simple. He's honestly carrying that Chicago Cubs team. Yes, he is. Uh, from there, we go on the left. Our first overall pick, Giancarlo Stanton. Bringing some power and some pop. Very, very curious. Because well, there's some protection in this lineup. There is. And he's definitely a first for us. I don't think we've ever really drafted a Stanton. But given where we drafted, which is pretty much low table, yep. I think we we're like 20 maybe? No, we're in the more than that. Lower than that? Or 26. Okay, uh, well, we were low. That being said, uh, heading off there from center field, we got Adam Eaton. Great, great contact guy. Great on base guy. Pretty safe defender. I mean, it's an easy pick for us. Uh, and then rolling out from there, Jose Martinez, a guy you might see in our franchise of the Phillies. Both players. Ton of upside. And yes, actually, Josh Reddick as well. Coming off a huge game. Two guys we know well, two guys we love. They're back. They are here. So, that is the team we are building around. Not much to do here besides get this damn thing started. So, oddly enough, we're going to go face our actual team that we uh, trade or the trade, Phillies. drafted and played as the Phillies. Let's take it month by month. Month by month is nice. Let's see how we do. Okay. So, we There's lost no... our first series. Pick AAA. That's fine. Picked up, a, wrong. picked up a couple dubs. Just over 500 now. Swept Colorado. We swept the Mets. We swept Arizona. Ooh. 
We took the series from Cleveland. We took the series from Cincy. We swept okay. Colorado. A great first month. 22 and 8. We're not even double digits lost yet. No. I don't even want to stop. Nope. So let's keep going here. So San Diego, right now we're split series and we got two games left. So let's head out maybe to about here. Probably a safe bet. Sure. Okay. So San Diego took the series. That's our first series loss in some time. There. So Johnny Gee for Rob Whalen. So Whalen, we know, is a little older side. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Al uh, Gee, we have no idea. No. So. So, oh, Rob actually, Whalen. Not the Whalen I thought. 25B. That's great potential. 53. Johnny Gee, we Gee, is 28B, 59. I don't see where this really does much for us. No, uh, it's really a wash either. Yeah, not even worth the time. Let's just keep rolling through. I want the boys to keep the momentum strong. We took the Miami series. We got swept by the Dodgers. Tied Arizona. Swept St. Louis. Swept, swept Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Tied San, San Fran and swept St. Louis to lead up to Washington. So 37. A little bit more of a balanced second month if you look at it. Yes, absolutely. So that but I mean, being said, I, I still wouldn't tweak anything. No, you got to come down. Where are we situated? Four and a half up on the Marlins. Wow. That's Seven. a great start. That's a great start indeed. Like now. A 673 winning percentage is money. Like you don't want to touch anything here. You just want to let your boys play it through until you see the issue. Yeah. Now we're eight days away from the draft. So I say let's get to that point. Yeah, let's go to the draft. So probably about here. Let's see where that takes us. So we got swept by Washington in the two. And we lost the Detroit series. So 38 not and 22. Not a great five games. No. No, it's a bit not of a tough five one. Uh, so drafts in one day. Bammo. We take that first game. We're going to sim to the draft. Yep. That's going to be important for us. We're going to go to the draft. So the first player draft, time to begin. I would think that we would have, yeah, around 21st. Better than our fantasy draft. Okay. In terms of pick. So, so I mean. We're thin apparently in the pitching side. But we do need guys who are going to be ready now, which yeah. is tough. Right? Because, I mean, okay, here's a couple of relievers. 2019, 20, JJ Burgess. He could be ready next year. Righty, the four fifth pitcher. I see this as potential for us as we have a quick turnover. We need a guy. Accuracy's half. That's I will gamble that. I'm ready. I'm, I will gamble that. JJ, great name too. JJ Burgess? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Mario Lopez just went. <laughs> so there's that. So 19th pick here. Uh, catcher apparently still pretty balanced. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that philosophy. Philosophy. Well, if we're looking at the 2020s, like again, guys who are going to be a pretty quick turnover. Yeah, Jack I'm not Stone. looking at a 23 plus. No. No. Uh, Jack Stone, you can take a chance at like a Giuseppe Petricelli, but apparently they feel like we're good out there as well. He's a switch hitter. 75 overall apparently right now. Low injury risk. Great contact. A lot of upside with this kid. There might be something that pans out. Our outfield could use maybe a couple Yeah, I would agree. There would need couple additional tweaks. pieces. But, I mean, there's additional players that are still 8. And there's Jack Stone, who's 2022, but he's right. 70. Low injury. But he's a little bit, a little longer. Like, that's not going to come through till maybe season three. If we're rolling, right? Like, great name here on Giuseppe Petrocelli. Okay. And as we know from Madden, when you bring in the Italians, they bring in Nonna who makes a past. Okay, let's, 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 let's try. Let's I, I'm, try. I'm a bit on a reach here. I'm feeling Petrocelli. I think we go with Your it intuition shot. usually is really good. So that's, that's really, to me, what that pick was. I'm just taking a chance. And the kid, sounds like he might be good at what he does. Uh, okay, so we got some, some accuracy base. Uh, Chris Lorenz, 2020. So there's Rich and 80 potential. Uh, Rich, where's Rich? Down there, he's a 75. 75, 20, Rich. Yep. Okay. 70, supposedly out of the draft, apparently. He's got some upside. We could go that route. I'm definitely okay with that. Um, see, the pitchers, like, I mean, Jack Stone has got some upside because he's 2022 as well. Unfortunately, he's just outfield. Which is not bad. I mean, I sometimes you got to draft best player available for a trade piece, right? So I'm wondering if that's maybe our goal, and maybe we see if Richie stays till the next round. But, I mean, outside of that, like, I don't know what else you can really trust here. Right? I mean, we're doubling down on the right fielder. But... Okay, maybe the other one switches to another position. I didn't really see if he had a secondary, so that, that's on me. That's my bad. I didn't check that. I just got excited because of the name, as we know. Um... Okay, so I think, is your boy gone or am I missing it? They might have reassessed it that he... Chris right. Lorenz. Uh, Richie Noonan's still there. there you go. Okay, but Chris Lorenz is there and he's a 20-20-80 as well. 
Lefty, which we haven't been able to pull yet. No. So, so there's that some, might be a piece. There's some potential there. He's the 2020 go. Uh, 2022 Eric Zarate. Uh, Zarate, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Richie Noonan, Miguel Montez. They're also 2020s. I might go actually for the second. Just remember, we do have Torreyes there. He's a 60, but upside contact. Average injury. Still concerned that. But I think it's worth the shot. Okay. Chef Tom calls it. We go for it. Liberal on the older side, which I'm... But, hey. You gotta take your chances. Again, if he doesn't start, he could be a trade piece. Always key. Uh, looks like we may have... No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Richie Noonan's still here. Yeah, from a 2020 perspective, Noonan's still a guy we might be able to look into and invest in. I think it's a good... I'm okay with it. I think it's a good pick. Let's give Noonan a shot. The couple guys who, again, while they may be long-term prospects, trade potentials. Because we know for a fact that Chuck Connor here has half accuracy to be an 80. And we haven't dropped the starter yet. Our scouting accuracy is half, so I think you got to put some trust into it. Yep. I think you got to go take him off the board. Starting pitchers. No 80 left on the board. Hard to come by. That's Let's draft, see. So. Let's see what this is all about. Our draft picks. Okay, 84 for Burgess. Not bad. A little bit of a hit and miss of a draft in entirety. Yeah. But. Could not afford to offer this contract. Really? Wow. Yeah, we are, uh, are we hard up on the cash. We are right out now. of cash, apparently. Yeah, so. Very surprised by this one. Wow, look at Chuck Connor, 87. Now, Petrocelli's a 66 out of the draft. He's got some numbers. Great contact. His stealing and speed is phenomenal. And a switch. Good fielder and a switch. So we might see something from him. Potential with an upside. Deep potential on Jack Stone. More on the power. Great speed. The Rod is a C. Washington. Base stealer. Uh, Noonan's a 67. 96 fireballer. Great, but not out of range. And Chuck's probably going to need a sign. Chuck is a C. So really, it's the top two and Chuck. But we got to find some money right now. We do. So guys, give us a sec. We're going to assess the situation. Get you back here in a second. When the MMC boys go to town, guys, we go to town. This is what the roster looks like now. We made some massive trades. So, you see a couple changes down below. We try to sign our free agents. You guys saw. We realized that our AAA team had like $30 million in pitchers that are never going to touch the roster. So, we downgrade a lot of those rosters in Wei Yin Chen, Samarja, Able to pull in a little less and a lot younger, Garrett Richards and Sonny Gray. Still great pitchers in their own rights. Fantastic depth. That can be spot starters if need be. Chase is still kicking around. You come here to our levers, big changes. The addition of Chafin. Great lefty. Tommy Hunter. Fireballer. Nick Vincent. Bully. Massive. From there, oh yeah, little upgrade. Michael Gibbons now coming in. Saw Barnes was just not doing it. Yes, he only had nine innings, but... Shit in the bed. We move on. We got younger. Moving on from there. Nice little changes here as well. We brought in Elias Diaz. Tucker Barnhart coming in for Zunino. That's a big one for us. Uh, we'll obviously have to make a couple adjustments here. But uh, first base, no big changes. Second was fine. Third is fine. Short is fine. Biggest change. Yeah. When your guy you're paying $16 million is batting 200 and has about six homers. Who's meant to be a jack show. Yeah. You go get the better well-rounded guy, you get Eddie Rosario. So small change there. Everything else is the same. So let's make a couple minor adjustments here, Chef Tom, as we did. You know, I half, honestly feel like we have to, yeah. Two, it, three, we, four, five. So these two have to go down. We have 30 players up right now. So I mean. Fine. We're making the moves. There we go. So now we have five starters again. We'll roll through to our relievers. We got too many here. So Conrad, you will go down to AAA now, my friend. Still season. Uh, probably Hill as well. Yep. Because that'll put us to... What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine relievers. You almost could put one more if you really wanted to. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed. But we also had three catchers. Oh, God, on. Hunt. There he is. Something we don't need. You go to AAA. Let, let, um, let the boys. Um, okay, I guess not. You're going to double A. That's what we're doing here. Perfect. We're good there. So we have how many fielders? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four outfielders. Sounds like a plan to me. We're looking good. All right, guys. Back on the sim. I know what you guys are thinking because we're... Okay, only three games ahead now. We, we had a little bit of a losing streak. But... Though. We'll roll through the All-Star game. All-Stars. 
All-star game, here we go. Braves have 42 Ooh, on the okay, 40 This is man. something that we got to actually look at. I'm not going to auto-sim that one. No, no, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. We've seen that bite us in the ass before. We have. <laughs> 40 men who don't need to be 40 men. Gawan. Goodbye. Sean. Ah. Okay. Uh, well, I was going to do Shim, but he does have something. Wimberly, 26. 25, he's 60 for D. Wimberly. Goodbye. There we go. We're good now. Okay, we'll head back over. Like we said, heading off to the All-Star game. Would you fix it? Okay, so Pittsburgh, we lost it. Oh my god! Who's injured? I have no idea. I don't think anybody was injured. I'm trying to think of the top of my mind. I, I, I can't. Oh, it's double A that's up. Double A that has too many. Double A? Double A has oh, Double players? A has got to go to single A. Oh, yeah, you got uh, two many players in double A? Cold yeah. buyer. Perfect. Is? Go, go down. Hey, you. Have you uh, ever played in class A before? Well, you do now. Perfect. We're sending you to high A ball. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're giving you opportunities. So how did this end out? We won the Pittsburgh series, lost the last game. We lost the Miami series, and we're currently losing against Pittsburgh. So let's continue the sim. Not see with the adjustments we've made. Oh, no. Okay, but we did take one in that Pittsburgh series. That. We did take the Phillies. We took the Mets. Okay, boys. Washington we took. Maybe it's a little bit of a growing curve. Chicago was the split. The Mets we took there. Lost the Phillies. I think it's getting against Miami. Ugh. Didn't do it, eh? Okay. That's so, a little upsetting. 54 and 38 at the All Star. Like break. Okay, so we're still holding our three and a half games. Three and a half, but we're four and six in our last. So, gotta roll it through. Trade, a, little the, a little bit on the downward swing. Trade deadlines on the approach. So, let's uh, maybe sim up to about that timeline. The NL1. We're gonna keep rolling. Us. That's great. Fantastic. Okay, so San Diego. Nationals are calling. Will Myers and Bobby Franks. For Bumgarner, this deal is stupid. Why Bumgarner has been a stud for us. Why would we ever do Look this? Look at the stat line. Stop. He was our best pitcher. Okay, we took San Diego. We took game one of Miami. I believe... Today is the trade deadline. The trade deadline is here. We're three games ahead. Games ahead. We're five and five in the last ten. Is there... Miami's or the Marlins are starting to catch on. Is there anything that you might want to do? Well, I, take... I like the team, man. Like oh, the team. Here's your pitch. Starting pitchers look to be doing well. Jimmy's. They've, they've been holding their own. Jimmy's got the wins. The only losing pitcher we have is Porcello at. Oh, sorry. Porcello and Hendricks, five and eight, four and six. But With their the, ERAs are sub ERAs four. ERAs are low. I'm okay with that. 182, 162, 131, 229. Like the relievers are lights out. That's a little high. Only one. Yeah. Givens also a little bit. Herrera, not too shabby. Barnhart's killing it. Diaz is killing They're it. They're doing way better than what we had. Aguiar's pitching in with his 24 homers. I'll take it. Correa's doing his thing, 245. 282 from Moustakis. Almost 30 jacks. 29 jacks. Bayes is having an okay season. Crawford's been killing it at the plate. Bench, yeah. Cool. Rosario's now turning into Stanton. He definitely went cold. We acquired him over 300. Yes, we did. Uh, but Eaton's still doing it, and these two fellas are still doing it. I say we roll on. We're rolling we through. Roll on. Chef Tom says, "Don't touch the chemistry. They're trying to build." Because it took them, it took them almost two weeks to get hot again. Okay, so we're gonna go to before this two gamer here against Toronto. Let's see what rolls us. So we took Milwaukee. Big deal. Gens get traded. McCullers apparently is going all the time. Everybody wants him. So looks like two prospects. McCullers going the other way. So we will advance from that. I easily. Do. We swept Washington. We took Milwaukee. We got a so call is, here. This is a post-trade deadline trade. Oh, waste my time. Waste my time. All enough with the Marlins, the team that's chasing us. We got swept with KC. Trevor Bauer. Wow. For Kyle Freeland. Massive deal there. I'm actually a Freeland guy. See, I'm a Bauer guy. I do not like Bauer. He can go play with a drone. Uh, he, he's killing it right now with the Indians. He he's the only reason why the Indians are... They're not even playing great baseball right now. They're not. We know this. But I still like Kyle Freeland better. He will not stop for simulating. The Royals are called. What do you want? Gohara, Brevia, Gaddis. You're not no getting Bumgarner. You're not getting them. So let it go. You're not going to stop. So, quick rundown of what we did. Washington, we rolled through. We lost two to KC after the sweep. We took out the Phillies. 
And then we took out Washington right after two or three games. 66 and 44, six and a half games up. Okay, we're stretching it. I like it. So, Jeff, I'd say let's take that 19th there and let's see where we sit going to Miami. Right. Oh, okay. Miami. Cincinnati. I'm very curious to see where we sit. Three or four from Cincy. We took out Minnesota. Miami took three or four. Lost to the Mets. Lost to the Dodgers. So oh, they're 69, so they are five. Three games. games. Three games back. They're eight and two in their last ten, so oh, they are hot right seven. now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's Oh. We're getting close here. Let's go. Miami. Oh my god. Last two of three. Yeah, but we swept the Mets. Swept the Mets. That's big. We got the Blue Jays here. Big. Tied it. Not too bad. Let's uh let's keep rolling here. We'll go to the we KC no series. White Sox, we won. Okay, triple A did well. I'll take that. Double A did well. Still finishing second. We're I'm gonna okay keep rolling that. through. We tied the Jays again. Took three or four from Washington again. Phillies, we lost. Oh, sorry, Phillies, we tied. Uh, we. Okay, those are that's the big back-to-back okay. -back series. Yeah, a lot happening here. Let's, let's backtrack it for a quick second. So Washington, three of four. Hendricks turned around now. He's a plus pitcher for. Phillies, we split. Washington, we took. Phillies, we swept. San Francisco, we swept. If anything, we needed the win. 95-62, three and a half games catching up. Catching fire. I don't see us not making the playoffs at this point. So I would just no. say him through. KC, we Ooh. lost two. The Mets, two of three. Won the division 97 and 65, so almost 100 wins Ooh. our first season. That was, that was a little bit of a nail biter there at the end. A little bit, a little bit. Time for some playoff baseball, Sheptop. First season, let us remind you. First season playoffs, division one. Let's go. First game, Hendricks against Kershaw. Lost. In, like, in Why is Cologne starting? He's got injuries, apparently. Hendricks. Guys, the fact that uh, the fact that Bumgarner's not starting tells me that he's really well. He was under. Yeah, like Cologne. Why would Cologne? so Bumgarner is hurt? Uh, you gotta call up some. No, you can't. We... Oh, no, it's playoffs. Can we yeah. add him to the playoffs. He's not yeah. eligible because he wasn't playing. He wasn't called up. In time. Did we call up anybody? You can't call up anybody. I've been shown. But Cologne, unfortunately, is making the start. Great wow. picture. So we're doing our closer first. We're doing the closer theory. We're doing the closer theory. We're bringing... Oh, God. And that's a loss. So try not to get swept. Mane against Nelson. I don't, okay. I did, not, I, did, I did not like that matchup at all. But right back up here. Jimmy actually took the win. Six innings, 10 Ks. And a, not a great ERA, but... This is a tough one. You got Kershaw and Hendricks. Yeah. There it is. Outmatched. Any day, Kershaw's taking that, man. You kidding me? Outmatched. So round... That's a tough... First round without but. without Bumgarner, that one hurt us. That's what it was. The it Dodgers beat. You wonder. It does. The Dodgers beat the Yankees. That's it, guys. That's sim season one. Season one is done. Great trades. We advance to the off season now. We'll see what this is all about. We got to decide a couple coaches. Get this stuff situated. This is our off season business. You guys know what happens here. Okay, actually, let's take a quick look. We're not affected by anything here, so. We're okay. No Good news. Heats, like. No, no inductees to the Hall of Fame either. Okay. So we will leave it here. Chef Tom and I got to get to work. But season number one. Big work. 97 wins. We won the division. We lost our ace left-hander. To go against another ace left-hander, the two best left-handers in baseball the last 10 years. But honestly, you put the, like in their same division, the Dodgers and uh, Giants. Like, those are the key left-handed pitchers. An incredibly tough Anyways. loss. We did give it... It was a dislocated shoulder, for fuck's sakes. Yeah. We gave it a go, man. We wow. really did. So, guys, rending off this one. A lot of upside. Season 2 is bound to be great. You might see some new faces. We're going to get into this offseason, see what's available. Try and make this team the best we can for the next season. The only way you're going to find that out, hit that like button. Leave the comments below on what you guys thought of it. What you thought of the work that we put into this sucker. What do you expect for season number two? Do you think that we are going to have the opportunity to, um, you know, get this sucker going? You know, what are we going to be able to provide? Can we get the right players? What do you guys think is our five-year plan here? Can we do it? Can yes, we, we can. do it? We can!
We got this one, guys. I'm feeling it. I think Chef Tom and I are going to make this happen. So again, comment below. Subscribe. Turn notifications on. Let us know. Let us know. Are you part of the MMC fam? You know what he can let us know? Hit us up on the socials. Down in the descriptions below, you can find all the ways to reach out to the MMC boys. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You got at least one of them. Follow us across all of them. And join us on Twitch. Show some love to Andrew, who's been killing the game for our socials. And down below in the descriptions, you're going to find awesome promo codes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But shares and Redbubble, the official MMC. So, Chef, season one. Where to go? Yep. Off season for heavy.